right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me in this video. Hopefully you guys had a wonderful holiday season. But in this video, we're gonna talk about some of my favorite exhaust systems available for the 2015 up WRX STI in no particular order. So all of these exhaust systems that you're gonna see on the list have either been installed by myself, personally owned, or have actually heard in person. Now we've installed a variety of exhaust systems on the channel, ranging from $2,000 exhaust systems down to the uh, cheapest $100 exhaust systems that you can find on the market, such as Amazon Prime, eBay, whatever, you name it. So we know a thing or two. On Amazon, it's $130. No? Shipped, Prime. Free? Yeah. Today shipping? Holy shit. Dude. Now, if you don't see your particular favorite exhaust system on the list or my personal list, please feel free to comment down below on your favorite exhaust system. So here we go, onto the list. Okay, so here we go. First off, we have the NVIDIA Q300 and the R400. Check that out. Now, NVIDIA has been known for their quality, budget-friendly exhaust systems that are usually readily available from most of the big online distributors that you see online. And it also has pretty good fitment, to be honest with you. Now, the Q300 is the quieter of the two options while still providing enough flow for your turbocharged engines. Now, the quad four-inch tips actually fill in the cutouts very, very well. I really like the way it looks and has a respectable sound without being being overly loud. Now this is a great choice for you track enthusiasts who may have to abide by decibel limits. I'm talking to you, Laguna Seca. Now the R400 is the louder version that produces a more aggressive sound with optional titanium burnt tips. Actually, they both have optional titanium burnt tips. If you want the blue tips, you can choose them on either one. Now the only downside to the R400 are reports of highway drone over the Q300, but in my honest opinion, I don't think you can go wrong with either one. You want loud? Go with the R400. You want something that's a little more toned down? Get the Q300. Okay, next up, we have the internet's favorite exhaust for the WRX STI and the most hated exhaust system also, the Tomei. That is right. Is that a Tomei? Now, I personally own this exhaust, and to be perfectly honest with you, it wasn't as loud as people made it out to be. <laughs> Keep in mind, I am using an equal length header, which tones down the exhaust note just a little bit over an unequal length header. Now the same exhaust system on Phil's car was like putting on a completely different exhaust. Both of us use a countless uh, downpipes with similar turbos, but on Phil's car, it was literally 10 times louder, mainly due to his uh, unequal length aftermarket header. <laughs> The Tomei is a single exit design weighing in at only 15 pounds with a three inch inside diameter, which has zero tapers throughout the complete exhaust system and minimal bends for the straightest design possible. Additionally, it's 30 pounds lighter than the OEM exhaust system, one of the lightest exhaust systems that you can get for the WRX STI. Now the Tomei has been known for being one of the louder exhaust systems available and also they're prone to cracking at the wells. Not gonna lie to you on that one. Now with the Tomei being made of titanium, there is a distinct and somewhat more exotic sound that is generally only achieved with the use of titanium. Now because titanium is less dense than steel and features thinner piping walls, the sound of the Tomei comes off a little bit tinny and hollow, which I welcome with open arms. Okay, so next on the list is another titanium exhaust, an exhaust that you guys have recommended to us many, many times before. The Cobb Tax Titanium is easily an exhaust system that has quality written all over it. Unlike its Tomei Titanium cousin, it's literally the complete opposite spectrum of the Tomei. This has dual mufflers, it has quad tips, and it won't wake up the neighbors when you're trying to go to work at four in the morning. Now, the Tomei is known for being loud, but the Cobb Titanium offers a mellow tone without making your ears bleed, even on a countless downpipe or on an equal length header. <laughs> Now, 
And now it has these slip fittings, which offer a wide range of adjustability to dial in your fitment just right. I'm telling you, we had no fitment issues when installing the Cobb titanium exhaust on Phil's car. Now additionally, since it's made out of titanium, it offers a nice, distinct, aggressive sound under load and quiet at cruising speeds. And to be honest with you, I didn't hear very much drone, if any. Now this is one of the most expensive exhaust systems on the list, but I think it's well worth the price if you want a system that is quiet at cruising speeds while offering the sweet titanium sound over its steel competitors. So another exhaust system that I would be happy to own and install on my STI is the AWE Touring. You see, it has this unique feature that they call 180 technology that cancels out those unwanted frequencies and drone from the exhaust tone with these strategically placed ports, which then re-enters the exhaust stream. Now, the AWE complements the sound of the EJ very well with mufflers that are specifically tuned for Subaru engines. Now, unlike other exhaust systems, the AWE provides a unique and aggressive sound without the drone and rasp that we all hate. Now, the AWE comes in two versions, the Touring and the Track Edition, which does not come with a muffler. Let's say in the future you want to convert your touring into a track edition, vice versa, AEWE does allow you to purchase the muffler system or straight pipe separately, which is pretty cool. Now additionally, the AWE comes with black or chrome tips, so it's your choice. You see, the aggressive sound and the unique exhaust tone is one of the reasons why I highly recommend the AWE touring. by far one of the most overlooked exhaust systems for the STI. You see, I haven't seen very many people with it, but we did film a full feature episode of the Art Grip about a year ago, and many of you love the way it sounds. Now, I'll be honest, this system may be on the quieter side if you own an FAWRX, but if you have an STI with an unequal length header, the sound is absolutely perfect. It's not too quiet, it's not too loud, it's just right. I would compare this exhaust sound-wise to the ETS Quiet. Now, the Art Grip doesn't have the traditional traditional resonator in the standard location, but instead it features two Hemholtz resonators right before the dual mufflers. Now the Hemholtz resonators aid in reducing unwanted frequencies without sacrificing volume. How does it sound? I'll let you guys be the judge. By no surprise, the next system on the list is by Nameless Performance. This is one of the first exhaust systems that piqued my interest when I first bought my first Subaru. Now, Nameless has been known for quality, handmade parts built here in the Pacific Northwest with excellent fitment. Now, one of the things I like about the Nameless is the aggressive throaty sound on an STI with the four inch mufflers. Now, Nameless also offers different options to fit your needs. Now, if you wanna start out with just an axle back, you can purchase the mid pipe later on separately if you don't have the money up front to buy a full cat back system. Also, they offer a variety of options from three inch tips, three and a half inch tips, four inch tips, single wall, double wall, no mufflers, four inch mufflers, and a five inch muffler option. Also, if you own an NVIDIA R400 or Q300, they also build a muffler delete option for the NVIDIA exhaust systems. Now, if you're looking for a louder exhaust and your NVIDIA is not cutting it in the sound department, Nameless has the option where you don't have to buy an entire new cat back. Now, simply replace the rear section of the NVIDIA with the nameless muffler delays and you're all set. One reason I didn't go with nameless in the past was due to the long lead times and don't expect the lead times to be any better. Thanks COVID. <laughs> Last but not least is the ETS Extreme and Quiet. This is by far one of my personal top five favorite catback exhaust systems for the WRX STI. Now, another Pacific Northwest company, ETS, prides itself with durability, excellent fitment, V-band clamps on their catback exhaust systems with a choice of loud and not so loud. So we featured both the ETS Extreme and Quiet on the channel, and these two sound very different from each other. Now, 
Now, the ETS Extreme is loud, 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 but it does have an optional resonator option to help get rid of some of those unwanted frequencies. Now, the quiet version still offers respectable and an aggressive tone without being overly loud for those long road trips. Now, the choice is yours. You can get with this or you can get with that. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up for me today. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully, you guys had a wonderful New Year's. And if you guys didn't see your favorite exhaust system, please comment down below. Also, I'm also eager to try out the RK Titanium exhaust. Hopefully, we can get our hands on one of those in the near future. But anyways, thanks for watching. We will talk to you guys later. Peace out, guys. Peace.